name is Maria Loevno, and for my oral presentation, I have chosen the film American Beauty. This film was directed by Sam Mendes. This was his directorial debut after many successful theater productions, both in England and America. The film was a huge success, and it paved the way for Mendes' future accomplishments. This film compares with his other works in that the themes of finding oneself and discovering true happiness are evident in his films Away We Go and Revolutionary Road, as well as American Beauty. In all three films, the main characters are married and are lost, either in life or their relationships. Mendez often explores themes such as finding happiness in unconventional places, as well as the common experience of a relationship that is falling apart. In the film Revolutionary Road, there are many, many similarities, the biggest being that the main character's marriage is slowly breaking up, similar to the events in American Beauty. The films explore the fact that maybe the perfect lifestyle is not the answer to one's problems or is even good for everyone. The film Away We Go is similar in theme to American Beauty in that the characters are attempting to find their place in the world and achieve happiness and ultimately they find it in ways that many do not consider. The film has many themes, but some of the most prominent are that the conventional American lifestyle may not be for everyone, and that happiness comes in many different places and ways. The target audience for this film are adults because of its mature sexual content, but also because of the themes that it discusses and the problems facing many of the characters. Issues such as sexuality, divorce, adultery, um, and self-worth are all addressed. The institutional factor that may be important is the production company. The Jinx Cohen Company produced the film, and after viewing the other movies that they have contributed to, I see a definite pattern in the type of movie that they choose to produce. Other movies that they are behind include Big Fish and the show Pushing Daisies. This movie and TV show are both associated with death, um, although they ironically employ the use of vibrant colors and fantastic situations while dealing with morbid subject lines. American Beauty also offers a somewhat ironic view of this family that is falling apart and Lester's eventual death in constantly employing comedy and um, the theme of finding beauty or happiness in unexpected places. Um, all three of these films actually share the theme of finding beauty in, um, in strange places and perhaps even in death. This film is a direct commentary on what is known as the American dream, which is the thought that in America one can find wealth and success and through that happiness. Lester and his family members, however, feel trapped by this image and this constant strive for perfection. There are often images of characters, uh, Lester in particular, in um, some sort of prison. The opening sequence of the film where we see Lester um, first in the cube of his shower, and then behind a window frame looking out at his neighbors, and again in the cramped quarters of his cubicle, we can see that this image of a well-content, this image of a content, well-to-do family has in fact, trapped him and his wife on a path of unhappiness. This film represents what many must feel living in the suburbs of America, working hard and having an uneventful life and feeling trapped by the image that they feel they must uphold. I chose a scene from the film towards the beginning from 6.50 to 11.50. Um, the characters are all represented, and I believe their true nature is relayed through the scene. Carolyn, who is the mother and Lester's wife, is seen as the dominant adult of the family. At dinner, she is constantly berating both Lester and Jane and putting them in their place below her. She is also represented at the end of the scene when she arrives at her job and begins to clean the house that she's going to show as a realtor. Through her constant 
mantras of self-assurance, we can see that despite her confident demeanor, she is actually quite unsure of herself. Annette Benning, who plays Carolyn, does a fabulous job of making her seem both neurotic and controlling, but also giving us hints of her low self-esteem. Lester, who is played by Kevin Spacey, is shown to be very subservient and almost beaten, especially as he walks to the kitchen from the dining room after arguing with his wife. Um, we see that he is trying to repair the relationship with his daughter, but he finds that it is unfortunately too late, and she has already really built a wall around herself. You know, you don't always have this struggle of Lester's to repair he and his daughter's relationship oh, is represented when the two of them are in the kitchen, and we cut to the scene from Ricky, who is their neighbor's point of view, and Ricky is filming the both of them. The quality of the film completely changes to a more grainy resolution, um, and it really puts the audience inside Ricky's camera. Um, looking in on the Burnham's lives instead of being completely immersed in it. Um, this shot of Lester and Jane talking in the kitchen, um, all of their dialogue is cut, and we really have to draw conclusions from their body language. But also, we can see that the window frame has already created a sort of barrier between the two of them, and basically a metaphorical wall that is preventing them from ever truly connecting again. Um, earlier in the, in the scene, we cut to an image that is very striking. We see the entire dinner table, which is very embellished and is set perfectly, and it has a, ba a vase of roses in the center of the table, um, which is a recurring image throughout the film. Um, the, ta the family is sitting there, and both Lester and Carolyn are at each end of the table, and they're immersed in, they're in darkness and shadows, while their daughter Jane, who is in the middle, is immersed in light and is almost reminiscent of a religious icon. It seems as if the parents are in their own worlds of darkness um, and unhappiness, and they are separated from their daughter Jane, who is glowing and beautiful, um, and perhaps even innocent. The table that they sit at provides um, separation and is a further indication of the isolation that they all feel within their own family, and it really emphasizes that the threads that are holding them together are slowly fraying. All of these images are in direct contradiction to the pictures that open the scene. Um, the scene opens with pictures of the family, um, with Jane as a young girl. They're all together, and they're all very happy images. Um, but after this uh, montage, we then cut to a wide shot of the three of them at the dinner table. And as the camera begins to move in tighter, we can see that the family is no longer in the happy place that they were before. The scene opens with a lighthearted song and which, continue, which continues into the dinner table scene, um, although the volume has been lowered, and this also lowers the lightheartedness that the music conveys and makes the scene um, seem a little more sullen. And as soon as you prepare a nutritious When Lester and Jane go to talk in the kitchen, there is no music, and it is only their strained conversation that we can hear. Um, this really emphasizes the tension, especially in Jane's part, um, you know, you don't of always have speaking with her father and you. speaking personally with her father. Um, right. All of this changes when the scene cuts to Ricky fault. and his view through the camera. Um, all dialogue is gone and a non-diegetic be orchestra begins to play. The song that we hear is very melancholy and adds to the sadness of the scene we are witnessing. Um, Lester is unable to connect with his daughter, and the score emphasizes hopelessness that he begins to feel. The film American Beauty fits into the genre of drama. This is because of the dark subject matter, such as the dissolution of a marriage and the ultimate ending with the lead character's death. The film also somewhat fits into the coming-of-age genre. The main character's daughter is in high school and experience her, experiencing her first love and discovering who she is. But her father is also growing up in a sense. Lester Burnham has realized that he is no longer happy and decides to seek his own happiness, finding himself along the way. 
Although he is physically a middle-aged man, perhaps this is his coming-of-age journey. I chose this film because of its deep, personal, and lasting effects that it had on me. The idea is that not everyone is meant for a beautiful house with a lawn and a white picket fence, and that beauty can be found in what may seem to be the ugliest places. The film itself is both funny and meaningful, and the performances were inspiring. The film American Beauty truly made its mark on American cinema. Its themes of anti-American dreams and finding oneself truly resonated with many at the time of its release and continues to strike a chord with audiences today. Sam Mendes truly captured many issues that are affecting so many families and even found the beauty in these imperfections. American Beauty is a stunning film, both in its visual images and moving performances.